And welcome back, everyone. We're here with Darcy and Jamie. Darcy, here's your first bookcase. Darcy, it's time to grab some sunglasses and get an appetite for gelato because you're going to Florence, Italy. What Rick Steves calls the home of the Renaissance and the best art in the world, you and a guest will have a five night stay on Florence's upscale shopping drag, the Via Roma. Check out Michelangelo's David or Botticelli's The Birth of Venus. Food, fun, and fashion, Florence is for you. But that's not all, Darcy. You'll meet a cool off from Florence's sunny streets. So your next sojourn is in the Dolomites. Italy's rocky rooftop. The Dolomites are an alpine wonderland full of yogurt and yodeling, sightseeing, and skiing. You and a guest will have a three-night stay at the top of the world, enjoying the cool breezes of Europe's mountain heights. But wait, Darcy. It sounds like you'll be short on time. Well, that's no problem in the eternal city, because you're going to Rome! The city where all roads lead, Rome is a home to ancient ruins, Baroque fountains, and that big building in the Gladiator Room. Take a stroll past the Colosseum or walk the ancient Via del Corso. You and a guest will experience Caesar the Man and Caesar the Salad if the call number is right. Wow. So you've got the gelato in Florence, a trip to the Dolomites, and a party in Rome. Sounds pretty good. It's the home of my ancestors, Darcy, so don't get this wrong. Would you like to bid or pass? Uh, um, I'm going to bid, Bob. I mean, Drew. I mean, Andy. Oh, okay. okay. Um, 914. 914, 914 for Rome? Well, that sounds like an operator. All right, Darcy bids 914. Jamie, let's see what's in your bookcase. Yeah. Jamie, Darcy's going to the Italian Peninsula, but don't worry, you won't be short on coastline because you're going to Japan. <laughs> the land of the rising sun, you and a guest will start with a three-night stay in Isashima National Park. Witness the harmony and mystique of Japan's most sacred Shinto sites. Take a day trip down beautiful coves or dine on the freshest fish. Relax, Jamie, because you're in the land of Zen. Japan's known for its excellence, Jamie, just like this show. So that's why we're sending you to Kyoto. Japan's capital for over a thousand years, Fodor's Guide calls Kyoto traditional Japan boiled down to its essence. Wander past a thousand golden statues or explore magnificent temples. John Dougal wrote, Kyoto and Zen go together like love in Paris, and that's why Kyoto is for you. That all sounds nice, Jamie, but we want you to have it all. That's why you're going to Tokyo. Ancient and modern, traditional and chic, Tokyo has everything you can imagine and probably more. You can sing karaoke until the sun rises in the land of the rising sun, if the call number is right. Wow, well, Jimmy. Sushi, Shinto, and sun. What more could you ask for? All right, what do you bid? Um, okay, I... I'm gonna go with 640, Andy. 640, all right. Jamie bids 640 for the trip to Japan. Let's take a look. Actual call number 915. Oh, well, that's a difference of 275. Darcy, you had the trip to Florence, the mountains, and Rome. You bid 914. Actual call number 914. Yes! She got it right on the money. She got the trip to Italy, the trip to Japan, Dolomites, I'm sorry, Jamie. gelato, you can bring a guest. some sushi on the side. Well, folks, remember to help your local pet population spay and neuter your pets. We'll see you next time on The Call Number is Right.